thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm talking about my Chantecai lip collection. It's not a huge collection, but I think it's enough to fill a video. I have two of the Lip Chic shades from this past summer's Hummingbird collection. So I'll show you those. And I have five of the Lip Veil shades, including the three from the Fall 2020 collection. So I'm going to lip swatch all of these shades for you. Let's get started. So to start off, we're doing the Lip Chic in Honeysuckle. So it's the one in this beautiful green packaging. There's how it looks. That's the color. It's a lovely, neutral, nudie kind of everyday color. That's Honeysuckle, beautiful. The Lip Chic formula has a bit of a scent to it. So it has a slight vanilla scent. It's I don't find it overpowering at all. I, I like vanilla scents, so I don't mind that. And it has, uh, it has a thicker feeling, a more viscous sort of consistency than the Lip Veils. So it feels a bit, more like a balm and it's really comfortable and really really easy to wear i wouldn't say it's super long lasting but um it's so easy to reapply that that hardly even matters so again that's honeysuckle next up we have the other lip chic that's in my collection this is coral bell beautiful reflective metallic pink packaging so there it is, Coral Bell. I love that these are all named after flowers. So that's Coral Bell. Um, I would say it's just what it says it is. It's a coral color, a pinky coral. And again, same formula as the previous one. So it's nice and balmy feeling, thick, but not sticky at all. Um, and I think it's it's it could be an everyday color too, but for me, it's really especially perfect for the summertime because it's got a bit of that beautiful coral and that brightness to it, coral bell. Now into the lip veils. I personally prefer this formula a little bit more than the lip chics because I find that they um, leave a little bit of a stain on the lips, which I like because to me that makes it last longer and look better longer. I have pretty pale lips, so I like for a little bit of color to stick to them even after the shine um, of the product has worn off. So first up, we're gonna do Tembodi. Uh, this is one that I think is quite popular. I believe it came out last fall and I think a lot of people really liked it. It's a warm nude color. And so again, kind of like Honeysuckle, it's pretty easy to wear on the everyday basis. It goes with a lot of different looks. Let's see how it looks on me. So this is Tembodi. As I said, it's a, it's a great everyday nude, really easy to wear. And the feeling of these lip veils is very nice. It's very smooth and it gives you a little bit of a sheen, but I, I don't find it quite as sheeny as the Lip Chics, which I, again, that's another thing I prefer about this formula. I'm not a huge glossy lip person. So this is just a very nice, easy, leaning a bit more toward a satin finish, in my opinion. Tambodi. Next, I wanna show you the three from the Fall 2020 collection. First up, we have Plumeria. Again, look at this packaging. It's just so beautiful. 
you know, I like the sort of permanent line original packaging for these as well. I like that navy, but anytime something comes out in a special edition color, and especially with these ones where the color matches the product inside, I love that. So here's Plumeria, let's see how it looks. So that's Plumeria. To me, it is quite a bit cooler than Tambodi. Again, this is, I would say, a pretty easy everyday type of color, uh, especially I like it if I'm wearing more of a pinky, rosy toned look. So Plumeria. Next up, we have Acacia from the Fall 2020 collection. This is a deeper shade than Plumeria. It's also more in the red category. It's not a red, but it has more red in it. Um, it kind of matches my top today, actually. So let's see how Acacia looks on me. So this is Acacia on me. As I said, it pretty much matches my top today. Uh, it's a beautiful color. Again, I think this is a pretty versatile and wearable color. Um, and I do like it, I think, especially for fall and even going into winter. Um, it's just got a little bit more depth than the Plumeria shade. Whereas I would wear the Plumeria more with a um, pinky toned look. I would wear this more with a more um, traditional rosy or rosewood type of look. Um, so both of them good for kind of an everyday basis, but I would just choose depending on what the rest of your makeup and your outfit is looking like that day. That's Acacia. Now for the last one of the Fall 2020 collection, here we have Tamarind. This is certainly the deepest of the shades from this fall. It's a lovely warm brown shade. Let's see how this looks. Tamarind. Uh, it's amazing that this is so easy to put on for, for me what is such a deep color, but it just goes on so smoothly and easily. It doesn't bleed over the, the lip lines or anything like that. And I love this color for fall. It's surprisingly wearable for how deep and how brown it is. I think the warm tones in it, as well as the formula itself, uh, it has a touch of a sheerness to the finish of it. So I think that also makes it a little bit more wearable. So that's Tamarind. Now onto the last Chantecaille lip product in my collection at this time. This is definitely going to clash with my top, I think, but it's such a beautiful, vibrant color. This one is in Tiger Lily. Here's what it looks like. It's a vibrant, peachy coral leaning toward an orange. So that's Tiger Lily. I love it in the summertime and even in the fall, depending on what I'm wearing. Not an everyday color for me, but one that I'm so happy to have. And it wears off beautifully. Like I was saying before, after the sheen has worn off and the texture of it has worn off, it still has that orangey stain on my lips, which I love. So I can eat with it and I'll still have a hint of that color even after a couple of hours of wearing this. Tiger Lily. That's my Chantecaille lip collection as of now. Thank you so much for watching. 
please let me know uh, down below if you have any comments or any questions for me. I would love to see any questions or comments. And if you'd like to see more from me, uh, please subscribe down below. Thank you. Bye.